So yeah, Doctor Who was back. <laughs> yes, I suppose the big news regarding Doctor Who, not only was it back, was that the, the day before it was on was the news that Jenna Coleman, she's dropped the Louise, mm. isn't she, has yeah. has announced that this year, this series will be her last. Um, mm, so as... She's playing Queen Victoria in the new ITV yes. series that I reckon will... My prediction for that is that we'll be in the Downton slot next year. That's a very good point, isn't it? Yeah, that sort of historical era. Um, I mean, obviously, the the new era Doctor Who existed don't stay for very long. Uh, I think. Well, she might, but she is in contention to be the longest running yes. of them. Uh, do you think that perhaps they will go with a new direction? I mean, could we go back to a male companion? I mean, it has it's not... Well, they, they have had them I, in the past, you know. They so. had Arthur Darville with Karen Gillan. Well, they didn't did, they? but he was... Ne- I mean, obviously, she was still there. In the most recent incarnation of Doctor Who, the lead companions have all been mm. female. But that yeah. was never the case in the, in, in the history. I mean, Patrick Troughton's companion was the Brigadier, who we saw a mm. bit of last... You know, the, the, the bit of a, last year. Would a younger man work with an older man? That's what well, I was... Well, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it would be an interesting dynamic. Are you, are you auditioning? I'm not a younger man, though, am I, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 uh, my acting days are behind me. Um, yeah, I mean, there is, there was, there are certain suggestions being put forward about who who could do it, and um, but I, I didn't think she made much of an impact in this one, Jenna Coleman. Uh, this episode, I think, because you had other bigger characters. Mm. In it. You, well, you... But the the basic premise uh, was that we we learned. I don't know if we knew this before that uh, Doctor Who did have the chance to kill Davros as a child. No, this is this is new. I think for the, for the Who universe, this is new information. Mm. But it does go some way to explain a lot of the anim- an- an- animosity between the two characters. Yeah. No, it was really. It is a really good sort of strong basis for an episode, as in, yeah. you know, what would you do if you did have the chance to kill the man who caused your life so much misery? I mean, as, as well that they've got the master in this, or Missy, as we know now, with Michelle Gomez. Yeah, I, I don't think of her as the master now, though. Mm. I think of her as Missy, and as but a, she is the master. Exactly, isn't she? It's, it's it's the very same strange. basic character, yeah. and. It's, it was interesting that she almost became the second companion, or the, even the primary companion in this. With It, it was very strange, was all... and obviously we are going to have to delve back into how on earth she's alive and things like that, mm. that and, and they did yeah. a very good job of there, not there explaining that. There is a lot of, skip, of skipping over things, isn't there? And Stephen Moffat, just generally, I know we mentioned him earlier with Sherlock, yeah. he does like, to, if there's, oh, how did that carry, oh, don't worry about well, it. We, we only found out how Sherlock came back to life, and we didn't get it, did we get it in the first episode? I think we got it in the first episode. Oh, I thought that was the bit where he got Jeremy, where he got um, Paul McKenna to, uh, not Paul McKenna, uh, Darren, Darren Brown to, you know, That's confuse the one. Him. Yeah, I did it somewhere like that. <laughs> I, um, I, I, I think, I don't need full explanations. This is supposed no. to be science fiction. Not this is supposed yeah. to be, for goodness sake, if you need, what? If you don't watch it if you need answers. <laughs> what I will say is that there was a lot of stuff at the start that I thought, oh, that could have been maybe a bit more of an episode on its own, like the hand mines, like the stuff with the planes. Oh, it was they, all like... they packed a lot into one episode. Yeah. I mean, just the, the return the, of the, Davros yeah. alone is... Yeah, yeah, but those two, yeah. do you not think those two concepts probably could have lasted a bit more than, say, five minutes each? I think so. I mean, I think, really, uh, as far as Stephen Moffat's gone, he's given you a season finale-style story at the beginning. Mm. Do, you, mm. do you agree with that? Yeah, it, I mean, it's two-parter. It's interesting, and it's really interesting to see where it's going to go. I mean, I, 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 I've talked about this with other people already, but for a kid's show as well, it's really dark. So yeah. The last bit of the episode. Yeah. I mean, they did try and do a bit of light and shade, obviously, with Missy being in it. And she, Even though she's the villain, she's quite a comic character. But, but still, and, there was that the bit stuff. where she was saying, yeah. I'm not the good guy yet, and killed yeah. two security guards. I think, yeah. you know... And there's the stuff in Essex, isn't there? You know, the... Yes. The, with the, in the 1100s with the Doctor playing guitar and that, things that, like that. That, again, was, was classic kind of new Doctor Who. I don't think yeah. you would have got that in the old Doctor Who, but in the new Doctor Who, they like to show them as this, you know... It, it, it's how they get part of it. Doctor Who is supposed to have empathy and, and feeling for humans, and I think this is how they show it, whereas I think the old Doctors uh, seem to show it in different ways. They seem to show it by how human he has become. Um, but as, as, a, as a long-term fan of the show, do you think this sort of was a good episode? Yeah, because of... I think it delivered on, you know, let's face it, as a Who fan, you want Cybermen, Daleks, you know, you want those classic characters, you want Fear. I, I want to be. I want to think that my 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 nephew, when he gets to watch this, will be jumping behind the sofa. I want him to experience yeah. what I experienced as Doctor Who when I watched it. Uh, and you would, and you'd be like, oh no, they've killed the companion. You know, they've been exterminated. And 
And there, there was a sort of link back to the past, wasn't there, with all the clips of the old doctors? Yes, the audio, Davros, audio clips of and Davros, especially yeah. the one of Tom Baker, which was almost sort of like the basis. Well, for that this that's the classic Davros uh, episode. Is is uh, I don't remember the name of the episode, but that's that that part of part, that that series that he did is the classic Davros, and that's the Davros I grew up with. I think more than anything, though, it sort of infused me to want to watch the rest of this, certainly the next episode. Well, that's you know, what you're on I'm saying. Ed- Instead, of I, I think I, I remembered, because I actually looked mm. back at a podcast recently, because it flashed up on my Time Pop app, about when we started Doctor Who last year. And I made the comment yeah. that I didn't think the first two episodes with Peter Capaldi were yeah, much Yeah, you gone. didn't, did you? That no. actually only by about episode three or four that I began to think, yeah, OK, he's going to be good. So... I like the fact that, OK, we've done our explanation of who this Doctor is. Now let's go bang straight into a great story. The time went really, really quickly for me. Yes. Uh, and that's what we always say is a good... A I, I good, think I was even surprised when it ended. Thinking, thing, it's yeah. going to be a two-parter. Wow, great. Yeah. Um, and I think it was good that uh, even though there was a lot of stuff packed into it, at the end, the pacing was spot on. Yeah. And you've got that, you know, what's the Doctor going to do now? No companions, no screwdriver, no, no TARDIS. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's. But again, it's that it's that kind of false pressure. You know, the doctor's mm. going to come out at the end, mm. and, and that's that. Again, that's the only disappointing thing that I think I've seen people complaining about online. It's like a lot of people speculating. As we talk, a very brief chat about who might replace um, Jenna Coleman. A mm. lot of people saying Maisie Williams, which won't happen because her no. her, her I, Game I, of Thrones commitment won't my, be won't my, be over there anytime soon. My my feeling and and one that I would quite like um, who's just been in it before was uh, Faye Marseille who was in the Christmas episode if you remember. Yes, I do uh, remember that. Shona and I thought at the time you know she this sort of like gobbier character yeah like a, young, a younger woman has I don't think has really been in it before. I mean they tried to do a similar thing maybe with Billy Piper uh, but no I Piper. don't I don't think ever that the Billy Piper's character was supposed to be a gobby. They've, no. they, as you say, they've done one. I mean, the, the other one was um, uh, the lady out of Fresh Meat, uh, who was in an episode last oh, year. Oh, Zoe Ashton. Zoe Ashton. I thought she'd be excellent. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, obviously I mean, they've they've Faye Marseille, kind of, obviously, in Fresh Meat as indeed, well. Indeed, yeah. So I mean, maybe they could go with that. I, I personally don't know where they will go with this. And I imagine, because we're now looking at 2016, that... Uh, Stephen Moffat will go away and, and work on this. We do know this. River Thong is in the Christmas episode. That, yeah, we know, but that again, and a lot of people speculating, ah, oh, maybe she'll be the new companion, but I don't, I no. don't think that would work. She I, wouldn't I, work. No. Wouldn't work. Um, okay, so yeah. that's Doctor Who. There you are. There we go.